this one rolling. Are we going? Yeah. All right. We got our patient uh, Bruce today. Bruce, how you doing, buddy? Um, okay. <laughs> doing okay. Uh, Bruce, do you give us permission to video you for YouTube and the internet and all that? Video That's your fine. procedure. Yep. We're going to keep your your uh, your real identity a secret. Uh, how long you had this giant bump on your back? Uh, a few years. A few years? Yeah. And then it got worse recently? Yeah, a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago. It hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty sore. To the touch, yeah. You've got a lot of back acne, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. And you've been seeing a dermatologist, right? I just started. Just recently started seeing the dermatologist. Mm -hmm. And they've got you on some topical medicine and also some oral medicine, correct? Mm-hmm. All right, great. So you had the cyst for a while, it's gotten secondarily infected, so you kind of have both. You have an abscess and a cyst. Thank you. Right? As far as you problem? know? No. <laughs> as as whatever you, you said. <laughs> whatever you say. All right. That's All right. what he has. That's fine. That's fine. This isn't the first time you've had to have a cyst opened up or an abscess drained, right? Right. All right. You were telling me earlier you had a pylonidal cyst, right? Uh-huh. And uh, you actually had to go to the yeah, operating room. You actually had to go to the operating room for that one, correct? Yeah, it was, uh, the, the wound took like three, three weeks a month to heal. All right, Mr. Bruce, are you ready to get started? <laughs> yep. All right, what we're going to do is uh, Gonzo here is going to spray some cold chili spray on you. Okay. And then I am going to give you an injection. Okay. Where's the spray going? Uh, come right across here for me. You ready? Let's get started. One, two, three. Let's go. Stick. Sting, burn, and it might squirt. So far, we're doing all right. You all right? Just breathe. Just breathe. There we go. What are we injecting today, Gonzo? Um, one percent with epinephrine and buffered. And it's I gave you some cc's with a twenty-five one inch one inch. You know what I mean. I can't talk. 25 gauge needle with a, a one inch long. Yes. We're That's using, Friday, my brain don't work. Bruce, we're using your back kind of like a desk here. <laughs> Sorry. Gonzo, are you ready? No. You're not ready. Why don't you get ready? All here right. we go. One, two. We're gonna make our first incision, Mr. Bruce. Here we go. Just coming right across the top there. We're using a number 11 blade. Did you feel anything? No, are you doing something? Yep, making an incision. We're, uh, we're actually using the scalpel nothing. on you. Well, nothing good. At all. We like it when people feel nothing. <laughs> kind of, um, that's kind of our goal. All right. Don't go, don't go anywhere, Gonzo. It's kind of hard to stay still when you I stay have right it. there. We're, we actually have two cameras working on you. We're going to try to get a little culture out of this. It's been a while since I've done this one, so we should be here yeah. a little bit. That's okay, just do your best. There we go. We got our culture going. And we're going to do a little squeeze here, Gonzo. Really? Well, I'm over here. Yep, there you go. Oh, Doc, you got it on him. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah, we got pus. You definitely have an underlying epidermoid cyst here. And we're going to do a little squeeze here, Gonzo. Really? Well, I'm over here. Yep, there you go. Oh, Doc, you got it on him. <laughs> So we got you open and we clearly have an epidermoid cyst under here. Sorry. We're going to work on getting that cyst out for you. What do you think? Uh, You'd yeah, like that. I mean, what is, it, is it going to be gone for good? Or? Well, we're going to try. What we, about the other one? What other one? There's two. You have two? Yeah. Are they kind of joined together? I guess. They're really close to each other. Yeah. 
I got it. That's good. There's more in there. Oh, did you see that? Mm -hmm. We're getting the. I tried to the, the open door open. I'm sorry. Yes, great. <laughs> you wanted a little fresh air too. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, you're blocking the view, Doc. Am I blocking? Yeah. I don't want to be a cyst blocker. <laughs> that would be bad, right? Yes. I'm going to move just a tad. Don't kick the camera. I'm going to try not to. Yeah, I suspect that this is a large cyst. Ooh. Yeah, there's pieces right there. Start working some of that out. So you you like the original Ghostbusters? Mm -hmm. You're not too sure about. It. Are you gonna? Would you be willing to give it a try? No, well, I'm not gonna go to the movies. Oh, wait till it comes out. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> the movies. That's the experience, right, Gonzo? Yeah. Sometimes it all depends on what. It, yeah, it depends on the movie. Well, I mean, sure, it's fun to watch a movie at home, but you know, I kind of like going to the theater, the full theater experience with the. The popcorn and the loud. Well, you know. like I said, it depends on the movie. Like Star Trek, Star Wars, yeah. and all those movies. I yes, agree. I'll go see it in the theater. Um, even the Avengers and stuff like that, I'll yeah, definitely go see. Movie. So we have a uh, cyst uh, sack coming out now. And so we've kind of grabbed onto that, and we're, we're dissecting it loose. You have a good picture there, Gonzo. Yes. Okay. Make sure that our fans have a good view. I'm sorry, but I'm going to remove this blade before it. Yeah. Um, sure, that's fine. Stabs anybody? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait till next week. Next week is only a three-day week for me. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's see if we can get some work. I'm going to give you a big push here, mm -hmm. Mr. Bruce. Wants to come out. Yeah sure like it if it would just pop up then we could snip it right out instead we're gonna have to pull it up from the bottom you okay you feeling anything uh, just tugging much. and pulling yeah that you're gonna feel yeah, tugging you're gonna feel pressure you're gonna feel but you shouldn't feel sharp pain if you feel sharp pain you tell us with uh, with epidermoid cysts if they're not infected what we like to do is we like to suture them shut but when we have an infection like this we're not able to we actually are going to have to pack this open for you. Mm. Yeah. Now, did you have to have the last one packed open that you did? Yeah. Yeah. So when they get infected like that, that's what we have to do. Um, we're going to start you on some antibiotics. We're going to give you some pain medicine, something for nausea, all that good stuff, okay? Okay. There we go. Good. That came right out right there. I like that. You okay? He just wants that out of his back already. I know he does. <laughs> you feeling anything? Mm -mm. Good. I'm just spreading in there. We're going to go in after it with the scissors. So all I'm doing now is I'm just separating the cyst wall, uh, cyst material from the, the surrounding skin and some of its scar and the scar tissue and some of its skin, but it's pretty healthy looking. That's probably why it's so tender. So that's a good sign, right? Yeah. There you go. Now we're getting in there. You okay? Did you feel anything? No, I'm not looking like I'm doing You can laugh. Comment. You can laugh if you How want. can that look healthy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can. Bruce, what kind of work you do? Um, right now I'm a part-time uh, teller and student. Part-time teller and, and part-time student or full-time student? Full-time student. Full-time student. Good. Are you are you studying paranormal research? <laughs> <laughs> not at this moment. No. That was a good one. <laughs> My push is that way. You're not working with Dr. Vankman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We've got our curette that Yellow Jacket Sue so generously sent. So we're going to work in here and work some of this out. Now, if you feel any pain, don't hesitate to tell me, okay? Okay. Yeah. Getting that that, that is just really stuck in there. So do you have a good view there? Yeah. Yeah. You're blocking it. Try not to block it. 
I'll do my very best. Try not to get blood on you either. I'll do my best at that too. I don't want the DW griping at you. I don't want the DW gri griping at you because I'll blame you. I still, she'll know I didn't do it. Yeah? Yeah. She loves me. Mm-hmm. After what happened to me last time, I came running here. Because last time I waited. Yeah, you waited and it got worse and worse? Mm-hmm. You feeling any pain at all? No, nothing. Good. That's what I wanted here. No pain. We're getting ready to rinse this and pack this for you. You know how to take care of these. You just know I want you just to leave this alone this weekend if you can, okay? You're going to have an outer dressing that may soak through. In fact, it probably will. The swelling has gone down a little bit. Yeah. Than what he had. Well, he's a lot of medicine and a lot of anesthetic is in the tissues now, so it's going to have a little swelling from that. And there's just pieces of uh, the cyst, the sac right in there. Thank you. So let's rinse. There's more in the box over there. Yeah. So how many Pokemon balls have you got? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. It's a lot. All of them have been here. None of them at home. None of them at home. You found them all at work, huh? Yeah. She took a picture of me. Apparently, I had a Pokemon ball on my arm or something. I know he was not not happy when he came in. Yeah, he was I, hurting. I don't blame him. You were hurting, weren't you? Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't leave back on anything. Yeah, I'm surprised that hadn't spontaneously drained. I thought it was going. To. Yeah, as irritated as it was. All right. Well, we packed this nice and solid for you, and. Uh, Gonzo, ready for a dressing. Okay. And action! Stay tuned for the Midget 7 video. Totally and cut up. and back. Go back. I'm trying to work here. And action! Stay tuned for the Meta 7 video. I took mine. How about you? You're on. Let's go. Hi everybody, um, I'm one of Dr. Gilmore's patients and I've been taking Meta 7 and for three weeks now and I feel like it's given me more energy, um, it, I feel like I can get through the day, um, it's helped me with a lot of things that I've been having issues and troubles with and I feel great. Wonderful, thanks. Thank